Dealing with signs of aging can be really tough at times. There are moments when you think about what your future would be 5 to 10 years from now. Are you going to be as strong, as beautiful, as healthy? Or are you marching your way to heaven? You know what I'm saying? It's just this moment when you're lying on your bed thinking about life and the things you could do to stay young forever. You know, if possible. I don't want to think I'm crazy, so agree with me. You're also thinking about it, right? Good, good. Not crazy. So, I figured it's a really good topic to cover, don't you think? In today's episode, we're giving you holistic therapies to promote overall health that can slow down signs of aging with holistic healing therapies, naturopathy, or traditional Chinese medicine. Hi there! Looking for something fun and healthy? Come and be in your best shape with us! Welcome to Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, where we go on our fitness journey one step at a time. I am Mrs. Blue, here to give you another fun-filled episode. Stop worrying about your adult days ahead, because we can do something about that. If you're interested to know more, please keep on watching. Before we begin, if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on how to live a healthier life. Number 1. Homeopathy This originated from Germany in the 18th century, ruled by the philosophy that the ailment and cure come from the same source. Yeah, it's quite confusing to take in, but that's the whole point of it. Here's the deal. The substance, which causes you to be sick in high doses, will also cure you when supplied in very small doses. Do you get what I mean? Symptoms from small doses are created to fight the illness itself, together with herbs and natural medicine. I'm not the smartest bulb, but I hope you get what it means, though. Number 2. Acupressure Unlike acupuncture, in an acupressure session, your body, in specific areas, is supplied with proper amounts of pressure to retain its balance. Basically, it's acupuncture minus the scary needles. Instead, they use hands, elbows, or other devices used in releasing blockages and healing. You can also do this after a month of stress at work. Schedule an appointment with an acupressure center near you and release those toxins. There's nothing more toxic than a month of interaction with your nosy office mates. Yikes! Number 3. Reiki If you think that sounded like an anime character, that's because this originated from Tibet and Japan, which means universal life energy. A doctor from Kyoto, Japan, Mikao Usui, rediscovered this practice back in the 19th century. How does Reiki work? Simple! The practitioner will use her hands as a channel to draw energy from the universe to your body in order to supply vital energy to all organs. Kinda sounds like a magic power, don't you think? Apparently, this energy will bring your body harmony and physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual balance. Just hearing me say it makes me so relaxed. Is that part of the treatment? Please tell me it's part of it. I might go crazy in here. Given the current situation due to COVID-19, they might not offer these services, but who knows? They might resume after the vaccine gets 100% verified and certified for everybody. I'm getting so excited! Number 4. Naturopathy In this therapy, people are treated with natural remedies to assist the body towards self-healing. Typically, herbal medicines, ozone therapy, massage therapy, color therapy, and more are the methods used in encouraging your body to fight its own ailments for relief. To know more about naturopathy, feel free to check out our video, What is Naturopathic Medicine? Mrs. Blue explains. Number 5. Ayurveda Originating from India, Ayurveda runs in the principle of balance between three fundamental life forces, Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. Ayurveda comes from two words, namely Ayur, life, and Veda, knowledge. Like naturopathy, Ayurveda provides assistance to retain our body's balance, 
by living in harmony with nature to practice the human body's self-healing abilities. Most of them are pretty similar with each other because they do believe that our body is capable of healing itself with the use of natural therapies like meditation, yoga, and breathing techniques. No wonder why I feel so powerful whenever I'm doing yoga. It's literally the only time when I feel like I'm controlling my life and not the other way around. Maybe I need to talk to Phoebe about this. Number 6. Magnetic Therapy In this treatment, you're given magnets in the form of bracelets, shoe inserts, or headbands to promote good blood flow. Why so? Because according to studies, our body contains the element iron, and apparently, with magnets, we're able to enhance blood circulation. So if you're someone who doesn't want to be touched through massages, acupuncture, or any other therapies that require physical contact, you might want to give this one a shot. You'll have an instant accessory that doesn't only make you look good, but also feel good. I think Mr. Pink and I should get one of these, you know? Maybe it will help Mr. Pink to cure whatever disease he has, so he'll be able to join us even just once. Number 7. Aromatherapy As its name suggests, aromatherapy uses the fragrance or aroma of essential oils to improve one's health including vitality and emotional well-being. There are two ways you can achieve relaxation. Externally, where they apply ointments or lotions to your body, and internally, where these essential oils are mixed with your food. Don't you worry because these essential oils used are organic and completely safe from food poisoning. If you ask me, I'll be glad to be stressed for an entire week as long as I'll have one of these after. Come on, life, hit me with your best shot. Number 8. Hypnotherapy We often associate hypnosis with illegal activities because of stories in television and, of course, stories that you hear from your uncles and aunts. To be honest with you, it's not that bad at all. In hypnotherapy, you'll be able to alter unpleasant thoughts and behaviors, and attain a state of deep relaxation. This will improve self-awareness and achieve full control of the mind all throughout the session. Your therapist will ask you your level of comfort before the therapy starts. And according to studies, many people are recommending hypnotherapy in treating mental illnesses like anxiety, stress, anger, depression, phobias, as well as low self-esteem. However, people with personality disorders may not find this useful at all, for there are instances where hypnotherapy makes their condition even worse. So, seek for medical advice first before scheduling your very first hypnotherapy appointment. Number 9. Traditional Chinese Medicine, or TCM This one has been the main medical system practiced in China for more than 2,000 years now. Can you believe it? They were able to preserve this national discovery and has been used ever since. Amazing, really! This term is used in a broader sense, where acupuncture and tuina belong, together with other herbal medicines. In our household, whenever I'm having a really bad cough and cold, instead of using common medicine, my dad used to give me a Chinese herbal medicine. It doesn't taste bad, but it's really weird. But you gotta endure it, because it indeed makes you feel better after a few days. Basically, TCM's main goal is to rebalance our body's energy systems to create harmony. Tired of carrying back pain? Check out our video, Back Pain Physical Therapy. Relieve Back Tightness, Physiotherapy, to know how to get rid of your annoying pain in the back. Feel free to visit and follow our Facebook page and Instagram account, Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, where we share motivational quotes to help people go through their fitness journey with a positive mindset. That is all for today. Again, I am Mrs. Blue. Don't forget, walk on your fitness journey one step at a time.
Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, your health gurus, will see you in the next one. Bye!